Welcome back to our Retrace YouTube channel. Today's guys are going to learn how to make this cow bobo with pleated center front. So it has this beautiful cow neck, cow side on both sides of the blouse, and then it also has an adjustable belt to make it fitted in front if you want or not. And this beautiful pleat that you have at the center front. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. This is something you like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so to make this boo boo, I just made this rough sketch here yeah, so that I can explain how I'm taking my measurement. The measurement you need is from your center back, which is here, all the way to your wrist or whichever length that you want the sleeve to stop. Okay, it's going to be cut together. So now you take your tape and then you measure from your shoulder, from your back, all the way to your shoulder and then to your sleeve. So for me, I have about 30 inches for that. I know that is just one side of the back. So if you're adding the two together, you have another 30 inches for the other side, which is 60 for the back and then 60 for the front. I hope you understand that this is just a half scale of the back. So the full scale for the back is 60 and then you have the same thing for the front as well. So that will leave you with a total of 120 inches yards of fabric. If you are cutting it together. And then after that, that is the width you need for your length. You are going to need from your shoulder all the way to your floor length. So for me, that is about 58 inches and I'm going to approximate that to 60 inches. So now I'm going to cut a fabric of 60 inches by 60 inches. 60 inches for the back. So if you're cutting it together, you're going to cut 120 by 60 inches. But I'm still going to show us how I intend to fold mine. So I'm going to assume this to be my fabric. The length of the fabric I'm working with is 60 inches. Okay, so remember, we can make this long part is going to be the yard. So that's like one yard, two yard, three yard. It can be as long as you want. But for the length, you don't get to determine that it's how it comes. So for me, the length of the fabric I'm working with is 60 inches, and I have about four yards like this. So what I'm going to do now is to measure my length. Okay, the, length, the total length that I'm working with because I want to cut this together. I don't want to have any joining on my shoulder. So the total length that I'm working with here from my shoulder to the floor is 60 inches. So what I'm going to do now is to measure from here on the yard area. I'm going to measure the 60 inches. So I'll assume my 60 inches is here. So it means I have 60 inches for the length of front, 60 inches for the length of back. So because I'm not going to have any joining, I'm just going to fold it together like this. Okay. So this is my front, this is my back. So I have it folded into two first, front and back. And then now we have taken care of the length. We have 60 here, 60 here for the front and back length. So the next thing is to take care of this sleeve area. So remember when I was explaining, I said this side is my yard side and this long one is my length. So now I have 60 inches length here, which is exactly what I need for my sleeve. 60 inches so this 60 inches here is for the front 60 inches here for the back so for me to cut it easily i'm just going to put it on fold by fold just like we normally fold so i have 30 here 30 here which is the half scale okay this half scale 30 is what i have here this other one is the half scale 30 and then you can see that i have folded my front and back together so basically what you need to do now is to first fold your fabric into two by the length which is 60 inches for me then after folding into two if what you have as your length is half to what you need here which in this case i have 60 inches as my length and it's exactly what i need here so i'm just going to fold it again into four like this so this is what i have done on my fabric so it's very simple to make it's a boo boo dress so i'm going to make it as simple as possible so what you need is your neck measurements your neckline measurements so i'm still going to be using this to pass because this is quite big so now from this center part here i'm going to take my neck width measurement so for the neck width i don't want it too wide so i'm going to be working with around 3.5 to 3.75 you can use four as well but i don't want it wide so i'll mark the 3.5 there so on my fabric now from here i'm just going to mark 3.5 or 3.75 just like i said okay i'm marking that and then for the length for the front 
for the back i'm going to be working with around one and a half inches for my back is not too low but for the front is a deep v neck like kind of so i'm going to make it a bit low so i'll leave it at around seven and a half to eight inches for the neck depth so you can just try to make it seven inches then when you are done if you want it lower you can increase it because you don't want it too low and you'll not be able to control it again so using this curve ruler i'm going to connect my back neck and then i'm going to connect to my front v neck as well i want it just a little bit shaped so i don't want it to be too sharp so this is what i have now so if you're going to be having a shoulder seam line what you just need to do at this outer hand here you can drop it by one and a half inches to create your shoulder slope then you connect it to your neck points but like i said i don't want to have any joining here so i'm not going to work with that so the next thing i'm just going to do now is to produce to create my sleeve opening so on this 30 inches that's the outer edge here i'm just going to measure around my remember it's on your wrist okay so i'm just measuring around my wrist and you know this hand has to pass through so that's why it's important for anything you're measuring to go through this hand so now i think i have about nine and a half inches there or ten inches so this is nine inches i can make it ten inches because i don't want it too wide so now from here i'm going to mark the ten inches very by so that's five and then you can add one half an inch allowance for that for sewing okay so i have five and a half inches so assuming you drop this down you are going to take that measurement from where you drop down and then you have your five and a half inches so from there the next thing now is to shape the side of this booboo so shaping the side from this shoulder from this shoulder that's the starting point i'm going to take my knee measurement okay so the knee i'm working with so it's not going to be on your knee exactly my knee is around 38 40. So i'm just going to go a little above that i can leave it at 36 inches so from here i'm going to measure 36 inches and i'm going to assume that the 36 inches stops here okay so if my 36 inches stops there on that point i'm going to take my hip measurement loosely okay the hip i'm working with is 46 46 divided by 4 is 11 and a half so you don't want that to be too tight so that you can work in it freely you can add around two inches to that or three inches so if you're adding two inches to 11 and a half or two and a half inches you have about 14 inches so now i'm going to assume from here now from the center front i'm measuring my 14 inches to be like this so this 14 inches is what i'm going to measure on the hem as well and then i'll make it into a straight line so the next thing is for me to shape from my sleeve opening all the way to this 14 inches so i'm just going to come in by one inch here so that i can aim it easily so after coming in by one inch the next thing is for me to just use my free hand on a or a cuff to just connect like this okay you can see what i am doing there so i will do this on my fabric as well but i hope we see it because it's quite big okay so now i have measured the 36 inches from the from the shoulder you can see i have 36 inches here so now what i'm going to do now from this center front here i hope you can see it i'm going to measure the 14 inches so you can hide more than that if you want or you can make it 15 inches basically you don't want it too tight so that's what i'm doing here i have 15 inches here so this same 15 inches i'm going to go ahead and measure it on the hem so that i can form a straight line there so the 15 inches i have measured here and then i'm going to connect it so after connecting it i'm going to come to the sleeve opening here and then i'm going to come in by around one inch or one and a half inches for aiming okay so this is so that i can hem this in it you can see that we still have the savage here so that i can aim it easily so i have come in now the next thing i'm going to do now is to connect from here from the opening that i created here i hope my camera can take this okay so from this opening i'm going to connect all the way to this mark that i have here Okay, so you can see how I've connected this like that, just like I explained on the paper. So after connecting like this, what I'm going to do now is to cut this out. 
Okay, so I have cut it out now you can see and I just there to cut outside the chalk. I didn't cut exactly on the chalk. So now I can take this out and this is the shape that I have. This is my sleeve opening and this is the shape that I have. I hope you can see this. So now the next thing now is to cut my neckline. So for the neckline, I'm going to cut out the back neckline first, which is the shorter one. So this is my back neckline. And then I'm just going to detach the front from the back so that I can separate it and cut out my front neckline. So this is the back cut out already. Okay, so I have cut it out now. This is the front neckline and this is the back neckline. So now we can open it out so that we can create the pleat in front. So now for the pleat in front, you can actually create it anyhow you want. You can detach it from the center, from the half length area. You can cut it separately, but I want this to be as simple as possible. So I'm just going to take it together like this while I still have it in the straight form. I'm not going to divide my half length. Okay, so now what I'm going to do now is to separate the front and the back and i'm going to lay it down like this okay so now from the shoulder area i can see the crease line of my shoulder area i'm going to measure to my under bust okay on my under bust exactly on my under bust area i'm going to measure from my shoulder point to my under bust my under bust is 14 so from the shoulder here i'm going to measure to 14 inches okay you can just do one inch below your under bust and make it 15. whichever one you want to work with is fine and on that point i'm uh, making a mark right there so now i need to get the center fold that's the center point on that 14 inches so this is my center point here i'm just going to try to eyeball it you can also fold it into two so that i can get your center point so now this is going to be my center point the next thing is for me to do some pleating or gathering at that 14 inches my that's my under bust area towards the center point so whatever it is i'm doing on this side i have to do on the other side as well so you can measure it if you want to make this around five inches so you measure the same five inches on this side and then you're going to please or gather that five inches so now to hold this down i have created this like a mini a mini so you just measure for me i measured around i didn't actually measure this around three inches in length and then the width is about two inches two and a half inches so i just turned it out like this and this is what i have so now that is what i'm going to use to gather this together okay so after gathering or pleating it okay like this this is what i'm going to use to hold it down okay so the width is about three inches so once it's old it you can see that it will hold my pleat in place for me just like this so this is what i'm going to go ahead and do now you can just use it to hold it by just sewing it on this side and then you drag this now and then sew on the other side or you can just decide to pleat it first okay after pleating it down to the three inches width that you want to use to hold it you can sew it down on this point and then you place this on it and sew it so i'll go ahead and do that now okay so now you can actually sew the edges like this but if you want it to have a fitted front just like i want so what i'm going to do now is to use elastic to resize the front okay so on this exact under bust measurement you're going to take your round on the bust measurement and then you're going to use that to get to make the front fitted i think we have done this several on the channel so i'm sure it's not new so the round of the bust measurement is 36 inches so half of 36 is around 18 inches so what i'm going to do now on this point i can still see the other bust line i'm just going to mark 18 inches so nine inches to one side and nine inches to the other side and on that mark i'm going to nine inches here 
and then I'll complete the 18 inches here. So you can see these points that I have on the wrong side of my fabric. I'm going to go ahead and cut an elastic and then sew it to that side so that I can fasten it to my body when I wear it. And this is going to make the front fitted. Okay, so I've turned this to the wrong side of my fabric now and then I'll go ahead and sew the elastic. So if you're using an elastic, you just need to measure like half of your underbust just like we have it and then you remove few inches so that it can be really fitted and then you sew it like this and then like this so that by the time you wear it this is just going to be around the back of your underbust so because i don't have an elastic i'm just going to be using this velvet bias and then i'll tie it so i'm just cutting this into two now and then i'll go ahead and sew each of it to the to each side so I'll sew one to this side and then sew the other one to the other side so that by the time I wear it, I'm just going to tie this manually to my back inwards. Okay, so I have sewn it now. So when I wear this now, I'm just going to tie this to my body. Okay, I'll tie it to the back so that I can size the front to my actual underbust measurement so that the front can be fitted so the last thing to do now is to go ahead and hem it on this sleeve area and after i mean the sleeve you are going to close it so that you can just sew it on the so now you are going to i'm going to hem it on this sleeve and then i'm going to go ahead and close it up now and then sew the side and hem the lower part as well so i'll do that now and bring it back to show us okay so it is so now and this is it on the mannequin so what you just need to do is to aim your neckline you can use a bias for this or use your facing so this is the garden that we had on the waistline you can see and like i said i pleated mine before placing this on it so here you can just have trimming or whatever it is you want to beautify it and as you can see that the front side is fitted so if you don't want it this fitted you can just loosen it and not tie the rope or wear your elastic together with you so this is what the full view looks like you can see that the pleating also continues to the lower part and then this is what the side look like so you can see the cow the cow designs that is formed on this side i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye